Welcome back. Now we're with Coldwell Banker broker Christoph Chu in Beverly Hills. Christoph shows us that even in the most well-known places, you can still find some really amazing neighborhood gems. And these guys know what they're talking about because Coldwell Banker is celebrating their 106th anniversary. Welcome to the world famous Rodeo Drive. But yet within a half a mile of this iconic location are some of my favorite secret hidden gems. So come with me and let's take a tour of these special and wonderful places here in Beverly Hills in Los Angeles. So the first stop on our tour today here is the beautiful Virginia Robinson Gardens. Every once in a while I need a zen moment, I need to relax and commune with nature, and this is where I come. So come on, let's meet my friend Tim and let's take you on a tour of these spectacular gardens. Hi, Tim. How are you? Hi, Christoph. Nice to see you again. And you. Thank you so much for arranging this private tour of this place. It's so spectacular, and nobody knows about it. It's a hidden treasure. Well, this property is designated as the first estate of Beverly Hills. It predates the city. It's six and a half acres in the heart of Beverly Hills. I feel like I'm in the middle of a tropical paradise. Yeah, well, rightly so. These are all tropical palms called king palms okay. from tropical Australia. Mm. There's about two and a half acres here, and these are about 60 feet tall. It's just so charming. Yeah. It's so exciting. I love this kitchen garden. We have Swiss chard and tomatoes, kale and cabbage. And then this is our orchid greenhouse where we grow orchids between blooms until they come into bloom. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Come back and see us again. I certainly will. Thanks again, Tim. Appreciate You're it. Welcome. See you soon. There's an old saying in real estate, location, location, location. And can you imagine having an opportunity to own a property or estate directly adjacent to the six and a half acre magical garden in the middle of Beverly Hills? Well, anyways, let's continue our tour and go to one of my next favorite spots, the Frederick Weissman Gallery in the middle of Holmby Hills. So come on, let's go look at that. Now, how many museums have you ever heard of in the middle of one of the finest residential communities in America? Well, here we are in Holmby Hills. Come on with me. Hi, Billy. How are you? Hi, Christoph. Welcome. Well, thank you so much for having us here today. So tell me a little bit about the museum, how this all came about. My husband, Frederick R. Weissman, purchased the estate in the mid-80s. His dream was to make this into a public place, which would be a foundation. Wow, Billy, this room is so wonderful. I mean, this was your music room, you told me, right? Yes, uh-huh. And I actually love the juxtaposition of everything all white and these bold, vibrant colors. But this has got to be a Rauschenberg, right? Yes, it is. A very tell significant one from 1953, a collage. And it incorporates a comic strip into the collage. Oh, you're kidding. So we're now entering the gallery portion that you and your husband added on to extend your collection here. I come in here and immediately I see the Liechtenstein, and this is obviously Keith Haring, correct? Uh, uh, LA2 and Keith Haring oh, motorcycles. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. pretty darn cool, but who'd want to ride one of these things? I mean, <laughs> riding a piece of art? <laughs> So this Frederick Weissman Museum is here in one of the most exclusive and expensive residential communities in the entire United States. What a cultural treasure to have a residential home that's actually now a museum in the middle of a residential neighborhood and what a wonderful thing to have in a great city like Los Angeles. It's our last stop of the day. And it's my secret spot, a real secret spot that I really shouldn't be telling you on camera because it's my place. When I want to get away from the middle of the day, the hectic world of real estate, selling homes and luxury properties here in LA, I come here to the Montage, to the Conservatory Grill, and just enjoy a little breakaway in the day in the middle and the heart of the city at this incredible five-star hotel. Hi, Herman, Chris how are you? How are you? Good nice to, see to see you. you. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. I mean, as you know, it's one of my favorite places in Beverly Hills, and I'm kind of scared to share my secret around the world because then everyone's going to come. What was the vision with this creating this amazing place? Well, we wanted to create a sense of place here in Beverly Hills. Right. A place where you can sit and really look out at the views, whether it's the Hollywood Hills or Beverly Hills. Right. And the fireplace and the rooftops. So it's really somewhere that can be enjoyed year round. I'm getting hungry. I think it's time. Lunch is served. Oh, good. I'm ready to go. How did you develop this kind of wonderful light 
clean, kind of, in my opinion, Beverly Hills, California cuisine. Well, we were striving for a menu which is relevant to the setting. And it's cuisine that will set you up for the day, not tire you out, nothing yes. too heavy. And yes. I think that, that's very important. These are some of our signature items here. Cheers to life in Beverly Hills. Cheers. Up next, a spectacular estate in L.A. for just under $25 million. And later, George is putting some staging tips to the test.